So if I had to describe the newest season of Ninjago crystallized in one word, it would be epic. You've got a ton of old villains returning, you have the Overlord coming back, all the heroes come back, the ninjas get their awesome dragon form, and today's video, since I'm such a huge fan of Ninjago, I'm going to be building different machines and buildings so that we can recreate this final battle from Ninjago City. So I went to some of my YouTube friends and asked them if they would give their opinion on my mock once I'm done building it. So while we wait for them to respond, let's start on the minifigures. We have a ton of minifigures to go through. For starters, let's start with one of the most important minifigures here, Fuji Dub. Fuji Dub looks like he could be a DC villain, and his mech is awesome. Let's get building on him and his mech. I bought a Chicken Man body from Bricklink. When it came in the mail, I was overwhelmed. It was so amazing. All I had to do was rip those chicken wings off, put them on a prison body, put a head on, and then a hat with goggles, and we had our Fuji Dub minifigure. But what's even cooler than the minifigure himself is his mech. Scaled down mechs are super common. I got the chest plate for Lance's next night robot and started using that. And then I put arms and legs onto it. He has these fluffy wing things on his arms to make him look more dove-like. I gave him a nice sword, thrusters on the legs. His body didn't look quite right. So I switched out that body and got Zane's body from his core robot. It looked good, but not quite right. So I went ahead and made my own custom body for this thing. One of my cousins actually built the design for the gun and it looks so awesome. Now all we have to do is put Fuji Dub in his mech. This thing is phenomenal. Next up, we have Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet is a super awesome villain in Sons of Garmadon and now she's back. So let's build Ultraviolet and her mech. So for Ultraviolet, it's pretty simple and I already had Fuji Dub's mech built. So basically all I needed to do was make the exact same thing but purple. But Ultraviolet's mech is a couple different shades of purple. I kind of stuck with dark purple. So I gave her arms, legs, an awesome sword, an awesome shoulder cannon, put ultraviolet in it, and now we have ultraviolet's mech. Two awesome mechs. And now let's move on to- oh. Dude, bricks by mind? He's gonna look at my mock? Dude, this guy does like Lego reviews of like all the Ninjago stuff and he's gonna review my thing. I better build it good. Now let's move on to some more awesome minifigures. I really wanted to make Garmadon's apartment. For that, we obviously needed Garmadon. So I got Garmadon from the Mia Samurai X mech and took his bony head off and just put his normal hat on. I also wanted mm -hmm. some villains for this. I got the mechanic and two crystal warriors. Yeah, the villains do not stand a chance here. Then we've got some other heroes. I got Nia and gave her some water power. I also made Skylar, Pixel, and Antonia. For Antonia, I had already made her back a year ago when I made Ninjago City Main Street. So I got that same hair that I painted for her and I gave her some shoulder pads. I also gave her her bicycle so that she could deliver her papers. And by delivering papers, I mean absolutely throw them at the Crystal Warriors to destroy them. Another character that has a big part in this is Racer 7, also known as Awesome Blazy uh, never mind. Just raise your seven. I've built this minifigure a couple times before. If you want to actually see the video, I'll link it right here. You can see the thumbnail right there. A pretty generic minifigure. Spoke too soon. Generic stud. The pressure is on, guys. We've got a Merlopian warrior, and then I made a Shintaro guard, but I used these other little frill wing pieces for them, and there we have it, a Shintaro guard. Another super important minifigure is Vinny from MDTV News. Dark blue pants, a blue shirt, blue ball cap. There you go, you got Vinny, and you can't have Vinny without Gale Gossip. I was able to find that super fancy hair. Gale Gossip's hair. There we have it, Gale Gossip. I wanted to build Cole's dad. I got nice combed hair, unlike mine. A head with a mustache, unlike mine. A cool suit jacket, unlike my shirt. And black pants. I'm wearing shorts, actually. And I gave him a broom as a weapon because for some reason, you couldn't find, like, a ninja sword? So something I really wanted for this mock was all the dragon form ninja. And these, these minifigures are so sick. Sadly, we only have Zane and Kai right now, but don't worry, I have 
plans to get Jay and Cole. But before that, let's get started on some of the other builds. In the show, Ninjago City gets covered with giant crystals, and this looks so cool. Let's start with the Newspaper Kids hideout building. So compared to some of the other stuff I've made, it should be pretty easy. I started with a light gray base plate. I put some crystals coming up out of the ground. I use a snot technique where you have one plate and then another plate stacked on top of it. There are some garage doors along the side and I wanted to build one of those garage doors in this. So as I built up, I was able to actually build this garage door to be able to just go straight up. I put a little rubbery Technic piece to hold it once you get to the top. And there we have it, a working garage door. Put a giant crystal shard on one side and on the other side, I put some other smaller crystals. I also built a little crosswalk over to the apartment building. And at the corner of this building, I put a stoplight. And if you wanna give this set a broken look, you can actually flip it over and make it fall to the ground. I installed some brown windows in and put a nice blue sign on the top. I added a security camera. Now it was time to detail the inside. A ton goes on inside of this room in the show. And I wanted to capture some of those key moments and key items and build them out of Lego. We have the radio. And then I also built a little table with the scroll that shows the ninjas how to unlock their dragon form. And then on the back of the wall, I made a paper route map using a bunch of ink pots with a green rubber band wrapped around them. Then on the top, I put some other crates and I actually put a pallet and you can actually flick a stack of the newspaper off. Sam Bricks Lab, three Ninjago YouTubers. So we've got Garmadon's apartment over here. In order to make this building look more interesting, for every window I placed, I put a teal awning on it to make it look better. I also made a pipe going up one side of it. In Garmadon's apartment, I added a ton of pizza, pop, pizza boxes, a couch. Most importantly, Christopher built a wall place it in there and if you twist him up the wall blasts off on the bottom floor i made a front desk area i added a rim to the top of it and also a radio tower pole going up with some radar dishes on it a couple other details along the front i added some crystal shards coming up i added a little sign coming out of it there we have it guys two awesome buildings and they're looking pretty good so we only have dragon form kai and dragon form zane which is extremely sad today we're going on a quest to get them. We're going to the Lego store. Come on. We found the good stuff. The last one. We got the two things that are on my list. Let's go. So since I already had this Samurai X mech, which came with that crystal dragon, my big brother really wanted me to make- You need to build the crystal dragon to make it way better, way bigger. I started off with the body. I gave it a dark blue underbelly to match with the shell. The head was really challenging. Front legs are massive, kind of like these. I used a click joint for the shoulder, a ball and socket joint for the elbow. For the foot, I just used a tiny mixel joint. The feet were pretty hard for me, but I ended up just kind of copying the feet from the Crystal King. This thing is covered in crystals. I used six crystal shards, four larger crystal shards, and then a ton of smaller crystal cheese wedges and spikes. I used these two by eight big curved pieces and then just attached the wings to them. Now that it's done, I can't wait to see my brother's reaction when he gets back from the Lego store. We got the Lego sets, guys. We're back. Bro, this thing looks so good. So now I had two more crystallized sets. I speed ran through them, building each of them in a couple seconds. Both these sets are awesome, but the main highlights for me, Dragon Form J and Dragon Form Cole. Dragon Form Cole has to be my favorite. He looks phenomenal. We also have General Vangelis, and now we have a ton of awesome minifigures. We're almost done with this mock. We have two more small builds here. The first one is Skylar's Noodle Stand. I built the whole entire base of it upside down. My favorite part by far is the little bowl on top that I was able to make. I also added a spoon, three bowls, and a knife. Ooh. 
Our second build here is the NGTV van. I started with four little wheels, put some wheel wells on, and then for more detail, I got a Ninjago sticker book, took out some of the stickers in it, and used those. Along one side, we have a ladder, and then on the top, we have a radar dish. Inside, we've got a couple cameras, a microphone, and a giant camera for Vinny. Now we have it, an awesome NGTV van. So now we have a totally complete final battle Ninjago crystallized mock. But now it's time to see what other Ninjago YouTubers have to say about my build. Hey everyone, I'm Mine from the Bricks by Mine YouTube channel, and I'm here to take a look at the latest mock from Brick Legends. But I've got it all queued up, so let's take a look. All right, wow, okay, this is very cool. So, you, what were those called? The dra Dragonoids, right? We have Hydro Whipper, of course, my boy. <laughs> All the Golden Dragon Ninja, Fuji Dove in his mech. Now, I am going to have a little bit of criticism here. In the show, the Fuji Dove mech is very clearly supposed to be an Evo mech. So, while this probably does have more articulation than a real Evo mech does, I think it would have been better to use the official Evo mech joints. But that being said, I love how the feet were done with like the little talons. The wings and the arms are super cool, too. Ultraviolet mech as well. Again, I think it should have been more of an Evo mech. But that aside, you capture the look of it in the show really well. Now, this guy is so cool. I absolutely love this. He kind of beat me to the punch because I was planning on making a video on how to build one of these guys. And I probably still will do that at some point. But yeah, this is so much better than the official one we got. That Antonia minifigure is awesome. I love that. Nice details all throughout. Oh, okay. The other apartment is invading is for Garmadon. I like that a lot. That's actually very cool. We have the little noodle stand too. That's a pretty good purist custom Fuji dove. That's a very smart use of the monkey kid face. I like that a lot. Hailmar, I think this guy's called one of the Shintaro guards and then we have Luke holds that another figure that we desperately need so in terms of my overall thoughts I think a lot of times in mocks people go above and beyond which is fine I mean for your own collection that's cool but this I could see is a real set and it makes me really want it as a real set you can probably charge what 120 maybe even 150 for this I was asked to rate it out of 10 so I'd say probably 9 out of 10 honestly and then my favorite part by far is the Benchstone D stuff here the Dragonoid or whatever they're called such a cool design very beastial and feels straight out of the show but yeah very cool mock thanks for letting me be a part of your video for pleasure so I'm gonna start by taking a look at the set overall and I have to say that I really love what I see Definitely has all the chaos and energy of a Ninjago final battle And it's something that I really wish a lot of a lot more of Ninjago sets have I also really love the crystal dragon this thing is hulking and menacing and I honestly if I was a minifigure I'd be absolutely petrified to go against that thing one-on-one -on -one. and then there's also the news van Which I think is a nice touch It's really something that we've been long overdue for along with Vinny and Gale gossip And I'd like to see that in some official set someday and then of course we also have the buildings and I have to say I absolutely love those the exteriors are just a little bit plain but then again the buildings in the show weren't very interesting either and another thing that I really love is Garmadon's apartment it's just a nice little touch to have that in there and also um, the fact that the wall just explodes to uh, recreate that scene from uh, episode I think it was 20 as far as overall thoughts go definitely love this thing if this was an official set I would buy it and I'd probably be willing to pay around 150 for this well I'd say I'd give it a nice 9.5 out of 10. You know, might have to build some of these buildings for myself. Alright, first of all, well, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I first saw these images, I didn't think these were custom. I honestly thought this was something that LEGO had made. The mechs are ridiculous. I don't know why LEGO hasn't made them. Like, the Fuji Dove one is just sick. The Crystal Monster is literally ridiculous. Like, it's so massive, well built. You've got the van that the racer uses. You've got loads of different buildings. I love the variety of minifigures as well. Like, you've got the Malopian. You've got all of the ninja in their dragon form as well as a couple of civilians and my personal favorite Gale Gossip I love you. You're the best minifigure. To be honest, Brick Legends, this has to be probably my favorite mock of yours. I could actually see Lego making, and it doesn't look like it's completely unaffordable. Maybe like, I don't know, 80 bucks would be a pretty fair price, and I would buy this, and everybody watching, be, be honest, be honest, you would buy this too. I, I love this set so much, I can't lie. I would definitely have to give this like a 10 out of 10. The more I look at it as well, like the more I see the minifigures that are in it. You guys want the experience of building this too? You totally can. Go to brick-legends.com or the link in the description where you can pick up your instructions. And here's the thing, it's half off from now until this date right here. Subscribe to Brick Legends.